keeping up with the conditions. Chloe gets surprise birthday party from boyfriend Tristan Thompson. Chloe Kardashian got tricked by her boyfriend Tristan Thompson during Sunday's episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The 33-year-old reality star was pleasantly deceived by 26-year-old NBA star Tristan Thompson who hosted a surprise birthday party for her. During the party Tristan was seen making a loving speech for his girlfriend. First thing, of course, happy birthday. Another year, another life, another year on this beautiful earth, the Cleveland Cavaliers player told her. I'm very honored and glad to be part of your journey. Baby, it's your day, it's your month, it's your year. And I feel good being around you, girl, Tristan told Chloe. Chloe told the cameras how touched she was at Tristan hosting the party. I am having the best time. Tristan is just incredible and I have never been this happy. I am so lucky being with someone that is so thoughtful and so sweet, Chloe told the cameras. Chloe then told the cameras that she and Tristan had just decided to spend the summer at her home in Calabasas, so she and Courtney tried to organize her closet. It proved to be too much of a challenge and Chloe told her sister that Tristan would have to find somewhere else to get changed other than her closet. He is a guy and we are all girls here and I don't want him walking around with his schlong around everywhere you know. She told her sister. Kim Kardashian meanwhile confronted claims she had taken photos in blackface for her KKW beauty line. The reality star was seen dealing with the controversy that broke out when fans online accused her of being shot in blackface for adverts for the launch of her beauty line. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing these photos for the campaign, the ones that we took. And people online are saying that I'm doing blackface but I would never in a million years be disrespectful and do that, said an upset Kim. She told the cameras that the KKW beauty shoot had been moody and she had been very tanned when they were taken. The photos ended up being a little bit darker than I was and people online were saying I was doing blackface and the photos were inappropriate, she said. The internet world is just so toxic and I feel like people are just waiting for you to make a mistake just to point it out. Kim then called Jen Cohan, chief digital officer at Jenner Communications, who told her told her to get the photographs fixed by the photographer. I get it, I was super tanned, the lighting was really moody so I get why people might say that, but I don't want to give people the reason to say anything negative, said Kim. I would never disrespect anyone. She told the cameras that when you make mistakes you had to own them and to fix the issues. There is no time to freak out, you just have to fix it and move on, she said sensibly. Chloe, Courtney and Kim kicked off the show hanging out together. Chloe told the sisters that she had news and that she was moving back to Los Angeles with Tristan during the number off season from July to October. He was like, I want to be with your family more, and he like really wants to hang out more, said Chloe as she told them they wanted a house in the city. He said, I want to be part of your family and do stuff as a group. Chloe told the cameras they had thought about staying in Cleveland over the summer but felt this was the right move. It is so nice, I have never had a guy who wants our families to blend before, said Chloe. Tristan has always gone out of his way to make me feel at home and in Cleveland has gone above and beyond and I want to do the same in LA, Chloe said. At Kim's house she showed best friend Jonathan Keeban items from her new makeup line. Jonathan asked her how Kylie felt about Kim getting into the makeup business. Um, she is really like so supportive of it, Kim told him. That's so cool, said Jonathan. Kim told the cameras how exciting it was for her to have a project on her own. For the past decade my sisters and I have always had a licensing deal and going from being a licensee to an owner is such a big deal and so much more responsibility. I feel like this is what I have been working for for 10 years, she said. 
Courtney told Chloe how she had been studying the work of life coach Tony Robbins and Chloe agreed that it had made her sister a more positive person. Courtney then told her sister and friends that her new positive attitude and understanding also extended towards Scott Disick. I'm making a change and I want you to know, she told them. At Chloe's house the girls sat down and Chloe told them she was struggling to find a house in the city to rent. Kendall got straight on her phone and found a suitable home for her sister as Courtney told them she was travelling to France where her boyfriend around the 4th of July holiday. She is going to see her French croissant, laughed Chloe. Kim told her mom she was nervous to do a major interview and talk at the Forbes Women's Summit. There is a lot of pressure as everything you can say can be taken out of context or the wrong way, so I want to be prepared, Kim told Chris. At Chris' house the girls got more positive messaging from Courtney who urged them not to complain. Chloe told the cameras that Courtney had gone from one extreme to the other. To be this positive is also a little crazy, said Chloe. Courtney told them she did not want to hear any complaints and only wanted to surround herself with positive vibes and love. Kim flew to New York to make the announcement of her beauty line. In her Forbes interview she admitted that people saying crazy, mean things definitely got to her but that her whole career had been building to the launch of her beauty line. Back in Los Angeles, Chloe asked Chris to help her look at homes but her mom told her she was just too busy. Chris then told the cameras that in fact she was helping Tristan plan a surprise party for her daughter and not just bailing on house hunting. Kim organized the launch party for her beauty line to take place in her own home as she admitted there was a lot at stake in the launch of her line. This is what I have been working towards for 10 years, I am so nervous, she admitted. Kim then welcomed a host of beauty bloggers into her home to launch the product, with Ganai coming up with the idea of a rose room. At Courtney's house, Cut complained that he had not received an invite to Chloe's birthday party. I am family, that was really sweet, that made me feel really good, whined Scott. I don't do a family roll call so, Kim told him coldly. I mean there is only one person that would have gotten me not invited and that was Courtney. I highly doubt that Chloe was like the last person I want at my surprise party is Scott, he told them bluntly. It's cool, I called my sister and hung out with her the whole night and then I called my mom and said, do you want to come over as I'm feeling down and lonely because the family that claims I am still blood, even though we are not together, still doesn't invite me to a surprise party, but I feel really good about it, said only child Scott whose mother Bonnie died in October 2013 followed by the death of his father Jeffrey in January 2014. But Courtney was in no mood to hear his complaints and told him that his pity party was a sign that he should act differently. There are things that you should just know, she told him. You don't discuss things or communicate. I can understand you not inviting me to your birthday, but your sister whom I have known forever, longer than anyone else who was there outside the family, I would have wanted to be there for her. I don't get it be honest, he told her. Courtney told him she did not want him arriving at the birthday party and being photographed going inside. Photograph going in is your concern? My concern was being there for your sister who I love and have cared about for the last 10 or 12 years and been there for through thick and thin and marriages and all these different things, said Scott. Courtney admitted that Scott had caught her off guard and that she had not given him an honest answer. I was trying to be positive and I just didn't want to say, I didn't want you to her, and if I can't say anything nice I just won't say anything at all, Courtney said. But Scott was not satisfied with the explanation. That is all balls, asterisk asterisk, it is funny to realize how fake you really are though, said Scott. During a workout class Courtney told Chloe about her argument with Scott about the birthday party. I just didn't have the words, she told her sister. 
I feel like when I talk to him in person I just smile and I could not really get the words out, Kurtney admitted. Chloe asked her if Scott understood that there was a transitional period and that he could not be invited to every family event when it did not include their children. Kurtney was told by Chloe that there was also a time to be negative and to have a conversation with Scott to set boundaries. I held back in my conversation with Scott because I was trying to keep my positive ways but sometimes it feels good to have like real emotions and it is just time to be honest, said Kurtney as Chloe urged her to stop bottling up her problems. So later Kurtney confronted Scott at Chloe's home. Our lives are changing and there are times I want you to come and there are times that I don't, Kurtney told him. There are times I just want to be able to go and do things, she added. You can every single day of your whole entire life, Scott told her. Kurtney told him that some things were big events for her. Yes, but they are also big events for me, he argued. You act as if I was not there for this family. I feel like you love the fact you can hold this over me and that is like your control factor, Scott told her. But Kurtney refused to take that lying down. You feel like you can go out and do whatever you want and purposely try and hurt me and still get invited to everything, she said. Scott asked her what she thought that meant. Does that mean I hate you or that I actually love you and do things out of spite? He asked her. But that is not a way to show your love. When someone is trying to f asterisk asterisk with me then I am not into having them at my sister's party, she told him. Scott admitted he did not think he was doing the right thing. When you are intentionally trying to hurt me and being tit for tat that does not make me want to be like. Let's invite Scott to the party and hang out, Kurtney told him. Chloe told the couple that they were all on the longest ferris wheel ride of all time. At some point we have to get off and get on a new ride. This is the same old story over and over again, she said angrily. Obviously I am not able to handle everything well. I do not have the best support team. I would like to try and be a better person but it is not the simplest thing, Scott told them. Kurtney told him he knew the things he needed to be doing. We are not going to sit here and go over it again for the hundredth time in ten years or more, said Kurtney. You really don't know what you should be doing. You are going to really tell me that? You are one of the smartest people I know, Kurtney told him. Scott focused on the compliments and started flirting with Kurtney and Chloe told the pair that they were dysfunctional. I don't know if this is something you do as foreplay but this is f asterisk asterisk king nuts, said Chloe. Scott then asked Kurtney if she thought they would just eventually get married at 40. You think when I turn 40 I am going to go, hey I have been looking for this drunk guy with a bunch of dirty s asterisk asterisk stained underwear w asterisk asterisk e, said Kurtney laughing. You guys are so nuts, said Chloe in disbelief as the pair walked off hand in hand after their fight. You guys are f asterisk asteriskin sick, she added. Cute returns next week on the E. Network.